Good evening, Speed Gaming! We have got Final Fantasy Randomizer Winter Tournament Chaos Ring Round 2 Upper Bracket action this evening. I am Classic Gamer 76 joined in the booth by Oslodo. How's it going, Oslodo? Ah, uh, Classic, it's going good. This is going to be a fun match to watch. We have two really good runners, and I am looking forward to this. What say we go over the blur sings? As we see what our party members have taken, let's see what we've got. So they've both taken a thief. Thief has a bonus of 10 plus luck, so that's e that's fast running, plus 20 magic defense. That fighter is going to come in with elemental magic and plus 15 agility, so harder to hit. They've both taken the black mage, which is going to have them 20% eh, hit bonus, but comes with doom magic. And their white mage. We're seeing the white mage strats tonight. Plus 40 HP and an improved Thor hammer. What they did not take was the red mage with clean magic and improved cat claw and the the often overlooked black belt with equipped shield and plus 10 vitality yep so fabian hawk is here after getting past siberian bull and right had a buy in round one so the winner of this is going to face irby bean i've already seen him in chat scouting the competition I like it Yep, the runner-up will face F. Coughlin, so that's not going to be an easy race either. No, sir, He got sir, started no. a little late, but we're about, about a minute out now. Both the runners taking the exact same priority, so routing is going to be key to this race. It's going to be real interesting to see where they go. We will remind, uh, if you haven't seen the Winter Tournament so far, this is all loose and shard hunt. So you need to get 28 shards to actually enter the Temple of Fiends Revisited. Carrie and Lich are both worth two shards, while Kraken and Tia are worth four. We also have everyone's favorite robot, the War Mech. He is patrolling on Sky, but he's also hanging out in a chest. There's one marked chest with an X. Inside is a roll, is a... Vanilla or rolled up Masa, but you have to kill Warmech to get it. Yep, so that will potentially not be an easy task, although we've seen some Warmechs being fought and some Masas being obtained so far this tournament, so maybe it'll happen again this evening. Absolutely, I am looking forward to it. It's always nice to see one of our runners pop that, uh, pop that X chest and see what's inside. Yep, X marks the spot, as they say. Indeed, it does. So, I, I, I am very curious about the white mage strats. Um, the red mage with the improved cat claw—that's that's that's not bad. It's almost it would have made me think twice. As opposed to improved Thor hammer and 40 HP, uh, clean magic as well. If they get lamp, because we do have the improved dark flag on, so dark tanks your accuracy. Your your light warriors won't be able to hit anything that's yeah, so another thing the power threshold is 600 so spells like gun and quad x will be literally twice as effective and we've seen them a lot so far this tournament absolutely we have it has become a running joke that you can oh and we are off so we're gonna take a quick gander in it's like what white magic's got for us Ooh, look at one that fade Level 1 Fade, your white mage is already being valuable. Black magic, fast, and ice 3, and if you want to, if you always feed some Quake to your Lich. Yep, and I also saw level 1 Lamp, so with that improved Dark, and we have improved Lamp on, I do believe, so that can actually be a useful spell. They'll have to see where Cure 4 landed. Very true, very true. That Lamp is very effective, especially with improved Dark on. Both of our runners will take their turn to go head up and see what's in the Temple of Fiends today. Ooh, oh, I should also mention, 16% uh, of the encounters are going to be unrunnable, so you will see that wait command pop up several times. Yes, in fact, that's higher than the vanilla percentage of 12 and a silver bond plus 2. I mean, that's not bad for a fighter. But ends up getting the opening trash pack. Meanwhile, elemental magic on the fighter. I like it. It's saving the bigger spells for Garland. We have a crystal in Toph Northwest. We do. 
Looks like Fry Teeth may have taken a different reset coming in as he did not encounter that pack. And going outside, looks like he's gonna take a save and then go say hello to everyone's favorite disgraced knight, Garlin. Safety save, always a good idea. Now he's bringing out the big guns, the Fade and the Ice 3. And Thavenhawk also drawing his Garland. Garland taking a fade to the face and just shrugging it off. He is not messing around today. And of course, Frighteeth gets the encounter right before Princess Sarah. Ooh, King with the ship. And what does Sarah have? Uh, Sarah has a 2,000-year-old billfold. That's fantastic. I bet it's falling apart and she's like, oh, here, here's the money that's left in it. It, there was a lot more here, but, you know. Well, Saber plus five is not a bad weapon. And see, Frighty's always ready heading up to Matoya. is going to check those chests, turn in the crystal, see what that is. We have a couple of incentive items out there. The Vorpal, the Excal, the Ribbon. Absolutely. Any, any of the turn-in fetch quests will give you an incentive item, but it will not give you any of the progress items. So it will give you the Excal... There's the Opal plus two. There is a... There's the Opal, the Excal, the Vorpal, the Rustic, the Power Bonk. And I always miss one. Uh, the... Excal, Vorpal, Power Bonk, Rustic. Mm, I had the Rustic. That doesn't matter. That was fun. <laughs> one of those. We'll remember which one. When, hey we, see it, we'll... when we see it, we'll know. So... <laughs> Iker, our tracker, tail. yeah, calling out the tail. Is, yeah, give shout to Iker, our tracker, keeping us honest. Herbie B also coming in. There is an incentivized ribbon. There are three in the game, and one of them is held by somebody. Frighteeth, meanwhile, coming up to fight himself a ton of pirates, which are just going to be faded into oblivion. Yeah, of course, Thavian Hawk so purchased some cloth plus six armors, which, I mean, that's going to be great for whomever he doesn't put the uh, Opal Cheerio on. Actually, I told you I had a bunch of gold, too. That's going to be nice for buying spells and provoke. And I think you get a sun plus four sword. That's great early weapon for the fighter. That is a, actually a late game weapon as well. You can run that right till the end game. Houses, not exactly cheap, but not overly expensive. 4,700. That's not bad. We've seen way worse. But now we're going to get our first look at black magic. What do we got? Okay, lit three. Not bad. Lock, not bad. Yep, Locke is definitely useful. We've seen some evasive fiends in Topher this tournament. There is your Cure 4 and your Heal 3 on the same level. You kind of don't like to see that, but just getting Cure 4 at that low level, that is a great that is a great spell. That also heals all your status ailments, so Lamp, not needed as much anymore. David Hawk now thinking of the Pirates. He's going to, once he finally gets a turn that is a Sweeper... Going to take them out. Bright Teeth, meanwhile, opting to head up to Dwarves and check the two chests in there. Doing a safety save before he does, just in case there's nothing good in there. Or big trouble on the way, because you never know what some of those monsters are going to roll. That is very true. So he finds some experience, and he finds a slab. Okay, that's not very helpful right now. I should also mention, normally in uh, the randomizer, the more key items you have, the higher your experience bonus is. In this, in this tournament flag set, that is not the case. Shards are what gives you your experience bonus. Reach shards you get, you get a plus 6% XP bonus. However, killing a fiend and getting that orblet will give you a 50% boost. So it gives you more of incentive to go and die for those fiends. Uh, above the extra shards you're going to get. And we'll take a look at what's in level 3 magic. Fire 2, Lock 2, Ice 2, all not bad. Yep, pretty decent magic for the Black Mage. Let's see the White Mage gets. And there wasn't much there. I mean, there is Exfer, but that was pretty much it. Mm. Ooh, but Wall, on the other hand, and Harm 3. We do have the Harm all flag on, so Harm will hit everything, but it will not crit. That is, of course, if a white mage casts it and didn't see much of black level. Or, I mean, well, fire three isn't bad. Blind, I think, sometimes is a little bit of a sleeper spell with enhanced dark and, you know, enhanced power word. And 
Absolutely. Well, the, a few times I think blind might actually be potentially useful. I, I can say myself, I have done it in practice seeds, blind and carry too. It's fun to watch her flail. But I also say I don't sleep on Exfer. Exfer has come in handy in some Topher battles, for sure. Definitely. Fry teeth is heading south. I think we're going to get our first look in Marsh. Yep, and David Hawk considers picking up Exfer, but I don't think he did. You can come back for it. It's not necessary at right now. End game, you might want it right now. Nah, you you can you have better stuff to spend your money on because that harm three and that wall is not cheap. That's ten grand right there. Very true. He probably looked as like you know I should save my money just in case, and that turned out to be a pretty good move. He's able to purchase fire three with some of that. That is true. Fire three, great for metal slimes. And we have our bridge, which does nothing for us, as we already have the ship. Oh well. Oh, now it's, no, it's one... Well, to pick up Dragon plus Four Sword, that'll be good for those thieves. Interesting, he doesn't reset out. The only thing he found in there uh, was the bridge. You could've just reset out, but that Dragon Sword, very hard to pass up. Good against Tia. Yes, and of course against many other enemies as well, such as... Stakes ah. and blue stakes and absolutely and it's the end our tracker points out in a single shard so we will head down to the bottom of marsh oh no i'm running we'll get out of there <laughs> fabian now making his way down both one thing this turn has done and we've seen it from both our runners is marsh top being checked which you normally don't see because there's usually nothing there this is very true, it's usually a, a bust of a check. Both runners are pretty much taking the same routing, almost in lockstep with everything. But we will see what is down in... Oh, back getting in the way, of course. So Fry Teeth will head down. Oh, another one, there's another one of those unrunnable encounters. Yep, she's just got to hope nothing has anything particularly nasty, because Marsh, with its great variety of... Monsters is known to have a great variety of nasty spells and skills. Absolutely. For anything from poison damage to thunder to anything, anything, anything can roll in Marsh. Marsh is not a good place to be. And these big packs are what you really need to watch out for. And Frighty picking up another two shards. Well, Fabian has finished Marsh Top. He's also going to keep his Dragon Sword. I like because that dragon sword is going to be very good for the thief and so we've got plus 35 elemental bonus so some of the swords like the dragon or rune can actually hit pretty hard and wizards take down fright Teeth's black mage but he gets away and he gets a heal pot as his reward and then finds the canal there's his exit out of the inner sea so and nothing but money in the last chest so this point, you're out of the inner sea. We do have northern docks on. There's only two. I believe there's only two spots you can check. You can go to Earth and check the top of Earth, or you can go to Crescent Lake and check the Sages. I mean, that's kind of a tricky decision because it hurts to dive Earth and not get anything. But of course, you know, Sages could just have. You know, change like Sarah did. You could also be going way out of the way there. This is they, that is true. They could also have the tail. They could also have an item that you could use. It's it. This 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 will be this will be an interesting call for Fry Teeth. And Thavian will be in the exact same position as soon as he's done with these wizards that hit like trucks when they land. Grabbed his your potion. I was going to grab his. Canal? So this is where first chance to really see some potential divergence. We could, see, have... we could see a change, um, but I would think both these are, both of these runners are very good runners. They've been doing their been you know on the server for a while. I would say that 
I would bet most of them will head off in the direction of Earth Cave. There's a lot of chests on that first floor, those first few floors alone. Oh, and we've seen a bunch of things like chimes and oxtails and earth or the occasional rod, which is hilarious. It is always nice to find the key to earth, to the deep earth inside of earth. It's under the doormat. You could find it. It's there. Fabian Hawk, meanwhile, has made his way out while Fry Teeth is out of the inner sea and free to explore the wider world. Right teeth is reaching. Oh, it looks like he is going to go to Crescent. He saved right before the docks in Melman. This is a this is a veteran play right here. He's going to go and check the sages, and if he's got if they've got nothing or there's no shop item, he will book it and just dock, and away he goes. I I do like this play. This is this is real good. Yes, I like this play too. I, he said, you know, we set back. I mean, maybe he loses. A little time, but he gains a bunch of information. Let's see if he checks level 6 magic while he's here, too. Well, there's nothing in the item shop at all. Meanwhile, Thavian says, nope, I'm going right there. Well, there's your Invis, too, in white. That's pretty good. Yep, that looked to be vanilla. Ooh. And did I see nuke and warp and temper? You saw a loaded level. That is a loaded level 6. Oh, my. And oh, fry uh... teeth. With the big play, finding the rod, that is that is a huge divergence moment. Yes, of course. I will see if Davian finds something like a chime or oxtail in Earth that gets him to go elsewhere, and you know maybe you know, not finding the rod isn't that big a deal. That is possible. It is quite possible that Davian finds something that sends him down the garden path. There could be a key or a loot in the bottom of Earth. Which would be horrible. That is true. But let's see what he finds on Earth 1. Now, Fried Teeth saying, Go away, Scorpions. Nobody likes you. Wear Sword, not great. Yeah, but a Shard, plus, that's not bad. Yeah, plus 5, that's actually a pretty decent weapon, except the Thief can't use it and the Fighter has a Sun Sword. Yep. They don't have a red mage, so it's just gonna stay there. Yep. Fabian Hawk also realized that the dragon sword wasn't equipped on his thief and fixes that. Uh, I think we've all done that at least once or twice. Go to the item shop, buy a bunch of stuff, don't equip it. Or find it and forget to equip it. Yep, that's happened before too. Fry Teeth, meanwhile, is heading back to Melmond. They've been burning I... off some encounters before he redives Earth. We'll see if he finds anything. Of course, if he doesn't, he'll know that some progression has to be in Crescent. This is very true, but the, the, the issue would be if he finds something that does give him progression. Down the garden path, he might go. Meanwhile, I didn't see any of our runners checking level 5 magic, so that's still a mystery to us right now. Ooh, an unrunnable four-pack of Gur Ogres. That's never what you want. Hope, hope, but they've mostly faded away. Now, of course, since we don't have retargeting, the Thief misses, but the Black Mage finishes them off with Ice 3. Looks like he's level 5 across the board. Finds a cabin, finds an Opal Shield, and a Shard. So, so far, Earth is coming up dry. But at least the Earth Trap Tile is runnable. The number of uh, number of races in this tournament have had that an unrunnable encounter, and that is never what you want to see at level five. No. Or since you bring up level five, you know, Front Teeth isn't a very high level either, so he actually tried to dive Lich all the way immediately, especially if he finds something. Did he pick up Quake? I don't think he did. This would be a very good time to have it, as Lich, for being the fiend of the Earth, is susceptible to Quake. Yes, I still remember the official ha um, thing, and there's a crown in the Earth, so there is something. That won't be progression, though, because Astos won't have progression. No, he will not. He might have the tail, though, and that would be very useful for Thavian to at least get his promotion early. 
the earlier you promote, the better, because when you hit level 15, you'll start getting magic charges. And there's the ruby, there's the titan's check, and Sarda. And it's in the TFC earth chest that everyone loves to hate. I've seen some few nice things in TFC Earth so far this tournament. We have. It's It's been a really weird spot, as runners usually do not go near that place. It's out of the way. It doesn't it doesn't do much for you. Now, Thavian has lost his Black Mage, but he has found TNT. So far, he hasn't found progression yet, which is good. It will lead him in the right direction. Back to Caking Lich, I remember the official handout with the game listed Lich's resisting Quake, and it was like, oh. So oh. I never tried it. That that official hand guide had a lot of stuff that didn't make any sense. Told you to put <laughs> ribbons on to prevent nuke damage. Yeah, that's a, that's a straight lie. Nope. I've, I've played this game enough, and I've done enough comms on these tournaments to tell you that is a straight-up Nintendo Power lie. Well, this is the handout with the game, not the Nintendo Power, although that also had all the inaccuracies. I think it said Afer would protect against Nuke, too. Yeah. Sure, sure did. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fabian is pulling up to our Edward fan here. Gonna fade, gonna hit. But he's got a Sun Sword, so this, this vampire is not... No. Even at low levels, that Sun Sword's gonna hurt. And that's the other thing, too. They both have a Sun Sword plus four, and Lich is undead. Fabian now getting the bad news that, nope, progression is not here. He is going to have to make his way the long walk out of Earth Cave. Our runners will... No, they're not going to high-five, unfortunately. Oh, maybe they will. They're both in encounters. Nope. They just missed each other. Oh, well. So, it's just the proximity play, of course, will be to check Titans. We'll see if he checks Sarda, because he should know Sarda is not going to be progression, but, of course, you know, if it's a ribbon or something, that's useful right now. That's very true. Or even the tail, so he can get... So, yeah, Sarda could be progression, because he's not a turn-in. The Sages and Sarda can be progression, as they're not a fetch quest. They're the only one... They are the few that can. So he might have something, although... Oh, dear. I see Thavian is down to just a white yep. wizard. Or white mage, sorry. That's yep. not good. It was Groger's with Fire 1. The enhanced fire works for the enemies, too. Yes, that is a that's a fun flag for the runners. When they're using fire, it is not so fun when it gets used on you. And Thavian is out. And the of worst part no. is, is that Melman does not have a clinic. That's what I was just saying. There's <laughs> no clinic in Melman, so he's got a long walk to go to find any revival. No, he's gonna he's gonna take the the quick the speed play and go right to Titan with just the white mage. I like this I like play. It. I, yes, I, think... I like this too. Proximity you... play. Absolutely. Let's see what Titan has for us. Cabin. Ooh! The key! The key. That is big. That is all the lock chest can now be looked at. So, the question now is, is there anything in Lich's closet and Lich's bedroom after the rod plate? Is there progression there? If there is, Fabian is being led down the garden path, and this could be a really bad turning point. But we'll see what Sarda has first. He has a black shirt plus two. Well, that's not horrible. That's, you know, armor for the black mage after he promotes it. It's free ice too now. Absolutely. You gotta love those free spells. Meanwhile, Fryteeth is about to get up to the vampire. See, uh, little buddy Edward there and show him that beautiful sun sword he picked up that's just really gonna hurt. Saving is out of Titans, gonna do the safety save and start heading back in the direction of Melman. Yep, and Ouch. Oh. This, yeah, just resets out of that. Yep, just get out of that. Meanwhile, we're gonna pull that earth, we're gonna run from that earth. We're 
and check this chest. A flame shield plus three is pretty good. Yep, fighters can use that now. Knights and ninjas can use that later. Absolutely. Baving going right to dwarves. Got a lot of chests. Good play. He's got the TNT. He can turn that into. Now, will he say hello to the hooray dwarf? Will he? Will he be one of those runners that kills the hooray dwarf? Mercifully putting him out of his one-word misery. He is living his greatest life. I always leave him alive. But anyways, Fryteeth finds a saber, finds a herb. Yep. That's not bad. Experience. Flame minus one armor, that's good. Ooh, that light axe, though. That is that... free harm, too. And, of yes. course, that harm all fly. Yep, puts it on the white mage. Gonna get, you know, harm two cast forever. And there is the tail. So Fabian can now go and promote whenever he needs to. And he's found the adamant, lazy adamant. dwarves. Yep. My god, we're back. Even okay. in an... Even in a... Item shuffle, you see it. Bane Sword plus five is a good weapon, too. And ice, ice plus, plus four. four. Wow. Weapons. Has any weapon really rolled down yet? Um, not any weapon that I think we care about. It, yeah. Broke eight plus three. But it appears that there is only the herb that Fry Teeth has found. So. Davian has not really lost. But he found a ribbon. Got a ribbon yep. from that turn in. So Fryteeth is in a good position when it comes to key items, but Thavian, by fading Earth by not having the rod, has kind of put himself in a... I'd say he's got a bit of a lead at this point. Shard-wise... Shard-wise, Fryteeth is, is going to get the tube, and he's also going to get the ore blitz, so his XP will start going up. He's level 10 across the board already, and he's going right for Lich, who is not long for this world. Nope, Lich is going to be even deader than he already was once that Sun Sword connects a time or two. Absolutely. Here we go. He's pulling Lich. Fight, fight, fade, fast. If the fast goes off before the fighter swings, nope, it's not because that's not how it works. <laughs> he, he might live around. Oh, he put. Aw, isn't that cute? The thief's having a nap time. Wait, wait, fight, and that is the end of Lich. Goodbye. Now level 11 across the board, and the Orblit, two more shards in hand, and I believe he has seven shards total at this point. Maybe I'm gonna check out Canary a lot, we'll see if there's anything in here. Got some money, more money. Silver helmet minus one. An experience, a house, and the loot. That puts Thavian into item go mode. He just needs shards. So, that means Fry Teeth will be right behind him on that. Now, I haven't seen how many shards Thavian has. I would guess he's somewhere around four or five. Like Thavian's going to go up and check Toe Flocked. Smart play because the two chests in the top uh, right of Toph are considered better trap treasure. So there's a chance, if a shard does not end up in there, there's a chance there'll be some very good gear in there. I'm sure our runners would love to see a rolled up katana. Oh yes. Right Teeth meanwhile has picked up his black shirt from Sardis heading back through Titans. Now, I don't believe he checked Titans on the way past, so he's going to go grab it now. Yep. That's a play you'll see frequently see runners make, and now he picks up his key and another Light Axe for Thavian. Yep, so he now he now has his free cast of harm, too. Great free AoE. Our tracker confirming that it is 5 to 7 shard count in favor of Fright. XP. Oh, Ooh. And a chime. Do I hear the sky calling? Or at least Mirage Tower. Yep, I think you might. Especially since, you know, I see an oxyl or hilariously a cube or a canoe in there. No, I think that that is... That is the play. Now, he's... Now, he will probably go and check Elfland Locked as well. Because it's on the way. 
locked. He's Maybe meanwhile checked, has been Yeah, northwest locked. Will he check marsh locked? I mean, we well, have to something in there. No, I do. Uh, mm, without warp or exit, marsh locked is a long walk. Thavian, meanwhile, realizing he doesn't have the herb, but he is heading towards the direction of the Elfin Armory, finding some cash, free real estate, bunch of cash, and more cash. That should put David in very good shape money-wise. And Fryteeth now has his tail. He's going to go yeah. find his adamant here shortly. Wonder where the doors went wrong with locking up their own adamant. Well, I guess they really, really wanted to keep it safe from somebody. Baby, meanwhile, it almost looked like he was going to take the turn towards Marsh, but he did not. He's heading towards Northwest Castle. He can turn in both his crown, and he can check the boxes. So we still haven't seen the Vorpal, and we haven't seen the X-Cow. We've seen the Ribbon. We also haven't seen the Ruse Stick or the Power Bomb. What does we have here? It is the Ruse. Right, David, of course, on. wants the ruse stick, so he's going to try to take down Astos. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Fried Teeth is not going to bother with the dwarf. He will sit there and enjoy his his great life of just being constantly happy. Fried Teeth now going to check out Canaria Lock to find his loot. And Fabian is heading into Astos's closet. Steps on the trap tile. Does get the trap fight. And it's unrunnable. How fun. Fry Teeth is now in item go mode as well. So let's see where he goes next. Will he head to Tof or, or Tof, or will he go down to Elfland? Nope, he's, he's headed to right Tof. He's heading to Temple of Fiends. So he will pick up his chime. He will be very happy to see that, I am sure. But so far, we can get the promotion, but we don't really have anything great to swing yet. So that Sun Sword will do a lot of work, but I know our runners are desperately looking for a rolled-up Vorpal or an Excal. Yes, definitely, or a rolled-up Katana. Absolutely. So he gets his, Friday gets his second Light Axe, and I'm sure he'll do something with it. He'll pop up here... Run away from plus six, or is that he's? Is, well, that's for sale. They also have gold bracelets minus one, which are kind of expensive. Those probings, that's a good deal. Death you protection, best hand armor in the game, and rolled up. Absolutely, cannot get better than the probings plus six. Especially with power words rolled up, that can save you against a quad X. Absolutely. The last thing you want to do is end up in a fight with Kraken and have a Quadex go out when you're below 600, because none of these characters that they've taken have rolled with an upper vitality. They've rolled with bonus HP, but that doesn't give you the extra vitality. Right, Keith, heading back from Toph, we'll see which route he takes. I think the Fading Marsh Lock is the correct play, but it might be kind of amusing if there's a canoe or, or oxio or anything like that in there. Unlikely, but amusing. It is unlikely, but it is always amusing to find that one item that you need. The floater might be down there. You don't know. Oh, there's the x cow. I predict Fry Teeth will be promoting very soon because he can give that sun sword to his ninja. Yes, of course, the x cow rolled down, but it's still got that huge elemental... Bonus. It won't be too effective against Chaos, though, because it's going to not get the bonus and have practically no crit. Correct. Question in chat. What are the seed highlights so far? So far, it's been a pretty even race. The big divergence is that Fry Teeth uh, went to Crescent to get the rod, while Fabian dove Earth. So Fry Teeth has cleared Earth. All he found was the herb, which gave him the x cow. Fabian, meanwhile, uh, left Earth, found the key in Titans, has been popping boxes ever since, and is now promoted. We have a Rue Stick from Astos. Uh, we have found an Opal by turning in the Adamant, which the Dwarves lazily put in their locked armory. 
and I believe the shard count has not changed. It should still be 5 to 7 in favor of Fry Teeth. And our tracker confirms. Thank you very much. I like what Dave is doing. He's checking the stats and he puts that Bane plus 5 on the ninja, which is a pretty good sword. It, it is a... Ooh! Fry Teeth is going for Marsh Locked. This, Spicy. This I like is, it. This is a big divergence. Because he knows he has the chime. He can get in to Mirage. But we have seen in these flags that sometimes this play can make a massive difference. Baby, meanwhile, going right straight to Mirage. Tracker pointing out that uh, Frighty did not save outside, so we can reset back to. Uh, it says Elf. I think he might have stayed outside Northwest Castle. Meanwhile, Fabian Hawk has found the blue stake and is going to try to take it. And loses Black Mage and resets. No, I, did, he just, did he just find another one? He did. That's two off the reset. That is a... Ooh, that is a good to know. That is very good. Now, the problem with that at, the, at, at Thavian's point is he doesn't have really enough shards to take full advantage of the XP boost. Now, Fryteeth finds it with one Orblet. Oh, he will be piling levels on. I'm going to check very carefully because I'm still looking for a box with an X on it. Find some money, soft potion, another soft potion. There's your katana out of Marsh Locked. Or two in the game, but one is it, there. It rolled neutral, but it's still a katana. Absolutely. The question is, if you're fry teeth, do you walk it out, or do you reset out and go? This, I'd say, Resets oh, out. he reset up. Well, he knows the katana's there. He can come back and get it later when he has warp or exit. We have seen warp. It was level six. It was. It was. Unfortunately, sharing the same spe uh, the same level as both nuke and temper. There's our it's canoe. Well, this could be interesting. That opens up a lot of options. Volcano is now open. Ice is open. Waterfalls or, open. Ordeals. Ordeals. If you really, if you're feeling really bold. Ordeals is a high-risk play with these flags. Friday, meanwhile, diving to get his promotion. He's got the X-Cal. He's got that Sun Sword. He's in, he's in good position. That X-Cal could make a big difference. It did roll minus one, true, but it does have a lot of utility. A lot of damage and a huge elemental bonus. Absolutely. So, time to do some armor reshuffling. Definitely equipped that black shirt, absolutely. It's interesting you mentioned some of those locations like ice and ordeals. One of the things is sometimes you see a loot or something like that land there, but we know where the loot and the key are, so it's a bit more interesting the decision when they know they have the key items. It's a question of, well, you know, I might not need say the cube. You might not, but this is very interesting. Our tracker pointing it out, and I also noticed it. He is not using the x -Cal. He's going with the Sun Sword plus four. That is interesting. Baby, meanwhile, finds some shards. Finds three shards. That's not bad. Finds four, four. shards. Five, Five shards. Oh, my. Five shards in greater than less than. You will take that any day. Ooh. Ooh, those T-Rexes have Blaze. That is not a grind. No, no, no. Nope, nope. You, you, that's that's off the market. Well, spicy steaks can be tasty. I think Blazing Hot is probably not too palatable. I think I think they're overdone. I'm going to say it. I think they're overdone. I don't like my steaks that way. I like a medium rare. You know, appearing every so often and not too chewy. Meanwhile, Fried Teeth will now uh, make his way through... Grabbing his soft potions, his Zeus Gauntlet, which he can equip if he wants it. Finding his canoe, now realizing that progression lies elsewhere. So, what do you do in this situation? Do you dive Volcano for the amount of treasure chests that are there? Or do you dive Ice, knowing because you can go back and get warp. If you have the levels, 
you could warp out or and get there really quickly. So I think it would depend on my levels because Frighty's at level 11, so he will not have access to warp yet. I haven't seen Fabian's levels, but Volcano with its chest density and two at the bottom is very tempting. Fabian looks like he's 13, 12, oh. and 14. He does have charges. He could go get exit if he wanted it. But that is way back in Melmond. I don't think he's going there anytime soon. Oh, he finds his blue steak. He doesn't so, know about the blazing spiciness yet, but he might find out. Yep, he just found yep. out. It's the first move on the list, and he says, No, thank you. I'm, I'm going to go vegetarian today. And away he goes. Meanwhile, Fried Teeth is heading to Greyland. He's going to find his boom of shards. What? Oh, but runs into some guards. All right. Thavian, meanwhile. Now, he's, now the, the way that he will do it, he will do, I can tell you he will dock where the ice cave is. It's real quick access. Unless he wants to check the... Unless he wants to check the sages. It looks like he does. Of course, he will find the rod. At which point, I think he probably continues to dive volcano or ice just because that's the proximity play and cleared out half of Earth already. Absolutely. I, I would agree with that. Volcano has the bigger density. It's closer. Chat calling for floater in sea. No, the floater will probably be in sky. It's one of my seeds, so if that means that the cube is in sea, the floater's in sky. Just, just because that's just how it goes. I don't know why. So is your axial in volcano or ice? Hmm. That's a that's a good question. I'm gonna say it's probably in volcano. It's probably on volcano six. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. Meanwhile, Friday is heading to the last floor mirage and realizing he does not have cube and walking out. Chat no. saying Oxiel and waterfall. That would be good proxy play. Yeah. It'd also be delightfully trolly. It would be. But they've been all picked up some level six magic, so including warp, temper, nuke, invis two. No, crabcake's pointing out definitely not ordeals. I agree. Never ordeals. Ooh, wizard mummies have fire three. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Of course, we know trap tiles are vanilla, so you know, in, they have to go to waterfall. They will encounter that, and of course, wizard mummies will be found in Mirage and all sorts of other places. Yeah, they are the trap tile on the way into volcano, and you don't want to see that. But fry teeth gets away with his his knight still standing. Fabian is headed to Volcano. Takes the, takes the proximity play. Now, if you're Fry Teeth, you've already checked the sages, but you gotta get your party back up, so you, you're gonna have to go dock in Crescent Lake for sure. I mean, Our first look at Volcano Armory. If I'm Fry Teeth, I definitely head to Volcano as well. Mm. It's got great chest density. He got at least two shards and likely a bunch more. Oh, it would have to be. So, Davian going through every runner's favorite chest. The hairpin. And, ooh, ooh, but he gets rewarded for his time with a second ribbon. That is big. Something to note, uh, we do have the free clinics on, so it costs you nothing to revive your party. Yay! Of course, when you're already full of money, yeah, it's kind of not as much. But that's great early on. Absolutely, it is. Fry teeth, interesting. He has the money, but he did not go and pick up black magic, even though he did peek at what was there. That is interesting. He does have a katana. He does have a rolled-up sun sword. He might think he can just, just run with it, speed and power. I mean, with those weapons, I think he can run with it. Absolutely. Is it going to be as effective as, say, finding a 
four four plus five or a rolled up masa? No, but it'll definitely get the job done. Here comes Thavian, two shards off the bat, three shards mm -hmm. off the bat. Wow, Volcano's armory is providing a lot, a good shard count. And the third <laughs> ribbon. Oh so, my. Volcano provides two ribbons on one floor. Wow, that I is huge. Yep, we have seen all three ribbons now, I believe. We have, and that means that Fry Teeth will also get his ribbons. Fry Teeth, I just took a look at his things. He's got two rows full, so that means he's up to 12 shards. Davian, meanwhile, will probably be two shards behind. They pretty oh, no. much picked up the same shards except for what was past Lich. the rod block, and of course two of those would be from Lich. Correct. Our shocker point out is 14 to 12, but not for long. Yep, no, char no shards in chest after the vampire, yeah. Yep, so the difference is the two from Lich. Which may or may not make a difference in the end. Quite possible. There, I have seen a number of runners in these races looking for just a single shard at the end. I have seen that too. One thing they will sometimes do is dive Volcano straight to carry to get hers, but that's being done now. So that is now Fry Teeth gonna beat the crap out of this gray W. Goodbye. Question chat, what are the shards for? Normally in Final Fantasy, you need to light the four orbs to get to Chaos. In this uh, version of the randomizer, the shards are your orbs. The orbs have been broken, and you must collect shards. We need 28 of them to open the path to Topher. Avian now has his katana. So yep, he'll Fry be Teeth, happy to see that. He will, and Fry Teeth will as well, because he doesn't have to go back to Marsh for it. Yes. Unrunnable pack, always oh, fun to see. Maybe you can pick up some cash. Another shard. Volcano is loaded tonight. Surpluses and a good experience with Thavian Hawk is no thanks. More shard. That is. Um, this, this just might come down to those two extra shards that were found by Kyle Let's see what's in the Agama tiles. The cube. A cube. Yep. So uh, whoever called a melted cube in Volcano, that was a good call. That would be Ragnarok. He called it. Interesting. So, Sky 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 is calling. Maybe can take it some fun fights against the Agama. He's got Ice 3, he's got a Katana. He ain't worried. It will see if he takes an, another, maybe does a quick mini grind. Ooh, a defense Ooh. sword. That is the second ruse item that we always need to look for. Interesting. He's no. I was gonna say they're not gonna equip it. It's not a bad weapon. It's just not as good as a sun sword or a katana. Absolutely not. It can do in a pinch, but if you're you should probably look for something better. Unless it rolls high. If it rolls high, you definitely want to use it. So, Avian's going to check the last chest, the red D chest. Tracker has informed us it is now 18 to 20. In yep. favor of Fry Teeth. It will end up being 20 to 22 by the end of this, as carries worth two. Meanwhile, Fry Teeth beating up that Agama. Now Total some... disrespect. Did not heal before he, to he pulled that. We have some ice plus two armor. I think that was actually vanilla replaced ice armor, and that's great for a knight or a ninja. That is indeed a vanilla location. Chat confirming orbs do not give XP boosts. Apparently we turned that off. So, Thavium will be first to pull... Carry. Fight, fight. Fast on that ninja and fade. Swing with the ice sword. And the ninja fell asleep. Oh well. He's back up. Yep, Meanwhile, Fry Teeth Ninja is taking a permanent nap. 
at least the much deeper nap. And we still haven't seen any life spells, so that ninja is going to be napping for a bit. You will indeed. Did mm -hmm. Bryce just drop the he dropped the opal shield instead of the silver helmet minus one. Sure, he has the flame shield, which rolled higher, but realize that the uh, ninja can equip the flame shield and the opal shield can go on the knight. Meanwhile, Faven. Ninja's taking that first carry, but the knight there. finishes her off. Carry was actually quite thick tonight. That's a thick feed of fire, I'll say that much. Meanwhile, heal three comes out, and fry teeth is gonna be pulling carry. Right? We're gonna fade. We're gonna fast. And he is still swinging that sun sword. And of course, timing is the way it is. The fast goes off dead last. Yep. That's how it generally goes. I mean, occasionally you see fast go off before the attack, but not often, it seems. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fade doing Fade things, rolling 90. Thanks, Fade. You are the... You are definitely the Dollar General nuke. Faving bringing up his ninja. Now, of course, you're Faving, it seems like Sky is definitely calling, but... Well, C would also be... Tempted to just have the Oxyel because the Kraken Ortia, though, should be able to get enough shards between actually just dense locations like Sky and Tia to hopefully hit what he needs. Otherwise, those two from Lich are going to really loom large. Very much so. So, Fry Teeth is going to head back down. So both of our runners look like they're fading the ice cave. Which, to be fair, I cannot blame them. No, the density of chests in Sky is far more than ice. Let's see if the red stake is on screen. And is unrunnable. Is once again, Fry Teeth not going back to get his magic. Yeah, that's interesting because there was some really good magic at level 6. Warp, Nuke, and Temper. All very helpful, very useful magic, but no, he's saying no. We'll see if the lack of Temper or Nuke comes to play in Topher. I do not believe Thavian went either, so they're both equal in that regard. The big difference right now is that Fry Teeth has an Excal and is not using it. But Fabian did pick up his level 6 magic. We did. Excellent. I'm fighting the guarding Blue D. It was also kind of chunky tonight. And welcome to the Sky Palace. Where it can be a nightmare or two sometimes. Indeed. And we do have in our Sky Maze... Oh, we have a floater! Well, that just breaks the seed wide open. Now the Cardia checks are on the table. That is true. That could be key for finding a last shard or two should someone particularly Thavian, need to do it. Absolutely. Meanwhile, we also know that in our Sky Maze, we have a Walking Lich. Ooh, there's a free eye right there. You take that. Crabcake's in chat saying that she could see Fry Teeth skipping that chest. I could too. <laughs> I, I have done it myself. I am guilty of skipping that chest and beating Burn for it. Now, you don't technically need the floater to finish the seed. Another shard. Haven't. And some... Nope! He's headed right down for it. He's gonna get himself his floater. Well, well, well. Lock step. Yep. Really, except for the um, divergence of Arty Head and the Crescent, this has been pretty lockstep throughout. Indeed it has, and that is the interesting thing, that Fabian dove, earth, and left, without warp or exit, 
and Fry Teeth did the whole thing, and yet they are still neck and neck. The only difference being two shards at this point, and one Exco that isn't being used. Yes, David picking up the Mage Stick that is going to be free fire two cast. That's going to be great if it runs into metal slimes or anything like that. Absolutely. Right there. Just what you wanted to see. Metal Slime's worth a lot of experience. Yes, indeed. And they are unrunnable, says our Cracker. Oh my. Well, you have to take him. Yep, the seed says, thou shalt get the experience. Fry Teeth is fading the spider floor, but heading to CeCe's Gambit. A white shirt? Um, no, you don't say no to that. Whether or not you use it, it's a free cast of Invis 2. Shard, and, yeah, copper bracelet. The copper we use, Trat, is to warp back from Sky 3 to Sky 2, but warp charges are scarce at these levels. They and are, Friday and didn't for, even pick it up. And for Friday, they are not possible. Thavian, meanwhile, is going to loot the rest of the spider floor, which is could give him the extra two shards he is missing. I haven't really uh, seen anything. Yeah, free pro ring, but he already has them. Iron. Money. And our tracker confirming no shards on the spider floor. So Thavian not getting any, uh, getting a boost there. 21 to 24. Which means that Fryteeth will be in go mode as soon as he kills Tia. Yep, you'll probably just need to get a few levels, which, you know, toper has <laughs> been a very popular place to gain some levels during this tournament. Indeed, or he could be searching for our walking war mech. No, I'm not interested. I didn't. I don't blame him. You gotta find have, him first. Yep, we have not seen the trap chest that has war mech. We have not. And at this point, I suspect we probably won't. And there's where Dark is gonna bite you every time. The ninja can't see. But the fast gets off before the swing. Seven hits for 207. Another swing. Five hits for 67. Ooh. This T is a bit tanky. Meanwhile, Thavian is going to check the far, the six, the six pack chests. Yep. Bright Teeth knew he had enough shards, so he did not check these chests. Just made a beeline for Tia. And it looks like he made the right cause. There is nothing but cash and junk. Trying Bane Strats on Tia, Matt. With the Bane Sword in hand. I like it. Brack landed level 5. I don't think anyone has picked that up. I believe you are correct. And Cure 4 comes out to remove the dark penalty. Now ah, the ninja's swinging. 3 hits for 75. Well, he's swinging alright. <laughs> oh dear. This Tia is yeah. a bit tanky. Yeah, Tia's not being too cooperative. Not Doesn't want to, you know, be baned either. Ooh, that is... <laughs> Four hits for nine damage, and it comes out again. And lands on the ninja again. Here's where, even though the XCal rolled one, down one, excuse me, it still gets that huge elemental bonus. Absolutely. That would be a very, very big bonus at this point. Now, Davian doesn't have that. So, he's going to have to deal with this without. And there it goes, Tiamat down. Six hits for 145, terminated. Level 18 for his ninja, and away he goes. He is now in go mode. Of course, Topher's the great equalizer. We don't know what little surprises this is going to have. Oh, he's, he's running to his old friend again. He's got ribbons this time, so it's not going to be nearly as bad. Oh, <laughs> Fabian, routing <laughs> around the war mech, doing a little dance. That's... that's that's, Teasing that's everyone, but decides not to take it. Which, to be fair, I think that probably is the correct move. I, 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 I don't, I don't blame, uh, I don't blame Fabian on that one bit. That is, you are in no position to take that, take that Warmack on. 
Sparky taking on another blue stake. He's going to go for a little grind. I mean, he's got the ribbons. He's got a hard-hitting knight. Does. And they're going to start popping spell charges soon, but he's on his way. So, does he go get the, his magic that he's missing, or does he use the Matoya dock? Or, does he use the floater and get in the air? It's a good question. Looks like he's doing one of the, either getting his magic or getting in the air. Which, if you're going around this way, you might as well get in the air. You might as well get both at this point. He looks to be... He is getting in the air. And he does have his slab translated, so he could go and look for a Vorpal if he so desired. If he thinks his equipment isn't that good. Which, with the x rolling down, I could understand that play. And in that, fact... Yeah. That is where he's going. He's going to check. Or he's looking for the power bonk. He doesn't have Power Bonk. He didn't pick up Temper. Saber, I don't think we've seen. I don't think we have seen it. We have. N I, I do not recall seeing it. So if he doesn't have Saber, that Power Bonk could be very helpful. And if we haven't seen it, and we've checked all the low levels, that means that it is not going to be Ninja Learnable anyways. That's true. Meanwhile, he thunders and takes down Thavian's Knight, but the Knight retaliates, and Tia is down for Thavian. And there is the power bonk for Fry Teeth. He wanted it. He got it. He called it right. Do you stop and check level eight magic while you're here? No. Yeah. Why bother? All right. So Thavian, two shards away from go mode. Fry Teeth in go mode, just picking up the last items he needs. If you're Thavian, where do you go? I mean, I think you go get the floater, and he's actually taking a different route. I can't remember if north or south is supposed to be more efficient. I cannot remember myself. He's doing it. Oh, Frighty's going for a grind. He is grinding. He's gonna take. He is gonna take that blue stake all day. Yeah, and Fabian is in the air. So at the 58-minute mark, and he is going to Crescent to pick up his ninja. I gotta have that ninja. Gonna heal up. Where is he gonna go? Ice or Cardia would be the two plays that you would think would pop into the head. Yeah, Cardia is a bunch of fairly quick chests. So that would seem to be the most logical play? Well, I know that's the on rack continent he's passing by. Yep, he's headed for Cardia. That is that's the play you want to make. It's free chests, no threats. You just need two. He's got There's one. one. And no. So okay, he needs one more. Well, we did say that the Lich might be one might be the play. While, Th while Thavian is doing this, Fry Teeth, meanwhile, is gaining levels and getting stronger. And that is you, very true. And as you have said, Topher is the great equalizer. And he found his <laughs> Oxy. I'm sure he's very happy to see it. Meanwhile, Fry Teeth done with the grind. Or the nope. No, sir. He is beelining for Topher. Meanwhile, no shards in Cardia Swampy, so he's going to check out Cardia Forest. At one hour, nine seconds, Fry Teeth is in. Now, let's go to Opal Armor. I take that. Yes, definitely. No, no, keep that, keep... But he's putting, I see what he's doing. He's putting the ice on the ninja, the Opal Bracelet yep. on the Fright Mage, and grabbing that Opal Armor. But do we have a ribbon? That's as, going to be as good as Dragon Armor. Absolutely. Yep, oh, here's our here's the wrong eye, and we're gonna get away from the wrong eye. Another ice sword plus four. And there's his last shard. He yep. is ready to rock and roll. And I I don't think Fry Teeth stopped and picked up Nuke or Temper. No, got I don't the, believe so. So he's but he's got the power bonk. Fabian does not. Fabian's gonna take his dive. He will be I saw level 19 for him. Yeah, so so he gonna... may go 
do a toe for three grind. Or he or might he just might take just him off. I was gonna say he might just take it on the fly. So he was in it about one hour, one minute. Let's say about mm, ten seconds or so. Maybe a little bit before that. So not much separating the runners at this point. Yep. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. <laughs> hi, Lich. Here he is again. Fasting his knight, who I think is still swinging that sun sword. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a sun sword. Yeah. That's that's goodbye. Hi, Lich. Lich. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing happened in there. Twenty-four on Fry Teeth side. Hmm. You love seeing the four pack of Agamas, but you really don't have time to take Aggies when you're doing a dive. Yep. Need Speaking of great experience things that you don't want to have to take time to take, Leaving Hawk gets some unrunnable metal slimes. Ooh. So he'll get some good experience, but lose some time. Meanwhile, we're pulling up to our old friend, Carry 2. Ooh, Carry 2, not very dodgy, not very tanky when it comes to that ninja. Fast comes out, and Carry smacks that ninja. Ninja yeah, kind of brushes it off. Swing well, again. That's plenty of fast chargers. I if we'd actually use fast on the ninja because I'll take the katana over the sun sword in this situation. Absolutely. We'll have to ask Fry Teeth why he kept the sun sword and didn't go to the X cap. It'd be very interesting to hear. Now, of course, for chaos, you want the sun sword. Yes, because of the rolled up crit, but. Fright Teeth only has one character over 400 HP, and they even go and check the validation chest, finding nothing, but love to see it. You do, you do. So now Fry Teeth on everyone's favorite floor, the water floor. Thankfully, nothing unrunnable. You love, you hate to see the unrunnable seafood party platter. But here's our old friend, the Kraken. We're going to ruse. We're going to use the white shirt. We're going to use... The defense sword. Nuclear first thing out of the <laughs> gate. Yeah. Kraken sees all the evasions like, okay, you go radioactive. That's cute. I can do this. But everyone survives. Everyone's walking away. I don't believe we have life magic either. We do not. So you're down, you're down. So we're going to swing. We're going to swing. We're going to lock. Ink comes out. Oh, no. Oh, no. That uh, ninja is dark again. Heal three. But it is a free turn. Without lamp, you have to spend the cure four to actually cure the darkness. Yes, that is the problem. Now he's going to heal pots to try to keep that black mage up. Kraken so far has not found the white mage. Found that ninja again, but missed. This is very odd Kraken behavior. Normally they see something dressed in white and go, Ooh, free toy. Nice three comes out. 128 is not bad for a nice three wall on Kraken. Ooh, the ninja missed. He's dark. He's going to keep... He's going to yes. get eight damage, yep. He's going to keep missing until he's cured. And there down yep. goes Kraken 2. Or until Kraken is dead. Or until Kraken is dead. Davian, meanwhile, has made it to the Earth floor. He's... This is going to... It's going to come down to if Tia or Chaos decide to be real pain. But we saw one nuclear out of the pool already. We haven't seen Warmech, so we don't know... You know, what rolled on him. That's one of the things when you take Warmech, of course you get that information. Yes, because Warmech and the Fiends and Chaos all share the same pool. So what Warmech has, that ooh, that Black Mage is not getting back up. There goes your fast casts. Yep. Oh dear. So we're going to Ruse. Zap comes out. That's not going to do anything. That's, nope. Ribbons will protect you. White Shirt comes out to get extra dodgy. We're gonna fight, we're gonna it. fight, and we're gonna use that thing as a light axe activated. Nope, silver dagger. Yep, oh, this menu. Meanwhile, Faden Hawk is approaching a speed bump, showing Lich 2 some respect, but then again, sometimes Lich 2 has nuke. His vanilla script would have him do nuke on the first turn. You hate to see it. Meanwhile, back on Fry T's side, he's Tiamat, still there, still hasn't done a whole a whole lot of anything, to be honest, except for take out that, that poor black wizard. Oh, there's Thunder, but you have Ribbon, so who cares? Swing. No, still going. Nope, going to get the power bonk out. Yep. Blizzard's well, coming out. He did have Blaze, but oh. it's just down now for Thavian Hawk. 
So, so far, that's Thunder, that's Blaze, and that is Blizzard, all out of the pool. And here comes Ink again to blind that ninja. Oh, that ninja. He's gonna, and he burns the cure for a charge to bring the ninja back to full health and get him his vision back. Tia says, well, I'm gonna hit him, but can't. Tia, very, very tanky. Again. Deviantrock, I think on the same encounter table, takes those Agamas, of course, could use the experience. I think he's a few levels in here. He did gain at least two or three. There's... Oh! Inferno takes <laughs> out the ninja. Oh, dear. Yeah, that is really not good, because if you're going to rely on that katana in particular... Well, you're going to have to rely on that sun sword now. So we're going to swing, we're going to fade again. And there goes Tia, who is down. Fried Teeth is punched his ticket to chaos. Yep. Of course, rely on that sun sword without fast. He does no oh, flash. He does the power bonk. does the power bonk to get his accuracy up. And his damage up. We will see what he's going to do. Is he going to move any characters around, try to get an RNG loop started? We've seen some evasive chaoses as well, so this could be... You know, yes, he doesn't have lock either. No, he doesn't. So, we're going to come out with the white shirt. We're going to come out with the roost stick. Good turn order. White shirt's out first. Chaos baning. That ain't going to do nothing. Meanwhile, Fabian's playing around with Carrie too. Who we didn't see do a whole lot of anything. Swing. Ooh, that's a Ooh, big that's... swing for Chaos. But more evasion strats. He is evade cap now, if I'm not mistaken. Because he's got two of the ruse and two of the shirt. Cure four yep, comes that out. would be evade cap. Of course, one yeah. thing neither runner did was get cure four out of night. This, this is true. Both of them, speed and power. They're using that strat. White shirt comes out to put the evade stacks up again. Trying to get his white mage evade stacked. Power bomb comes out. Chaos, very... Not showing his hand yet. He's only using... Level two spells. Oh, chaos has fast. That is, that is not what you want to see. That can be scary, even with max ruse. A uh, crit can get through. But two comes out. Nobody cares. White jerk comes out. The white mage should probably be a vague cap now. Yep, he's gonna. There's I, nuke. I oh, was oh, waiting oh, to no. see here oh, is the nuke or the cure four. Oh dear. But chaos did it before I could commentate or curse him. Oh, Quadex is not gonna land. This, this is gonna come right down to the knee. Bane, not going to work. The ribbon will prevent. Swinging. Four hits for four, three, three. Bane, no, it's not going to work. Chaos, come on. Chaos, swing, miss. Swing back. Two hits for 408. He's still Thank standing. Chaos. chaos, ice two. 45 health left. Swinging again. 413. Chaos, fire three. Oh, he's down to four health. And here we go. 408. It's going to come down to turn order. Oh, Chaos burns a turn, casting fast on himself. <laughs> and the Terminate. Get your GGs out in chat for Fry Teeth with the four health knight hanging on my that is a finish -hoo -hoo. so let's look at our official race time dot gg at 10906 get your ggs out in chat meanwhile Davian, who also has no standing ninja, is pulling up to Kraken 2. Let's see if Kraken 2 remembers the White Wizard this time. Got some swing. Whoa. Juicy hit on the knight. Defense on the knight. Fast on the knight. Give me a block strats. Love to see it. Cure 4. Bring up the knight's HP. There's the nuclear. There's the black mage. On his face. Right. Swing for it's not a much swirl. We did not see that. And we are joined in the booth by Fry Teeth. GG Fry Teeth. Thanks. Fry Teeth. That that was that was a clincher right there, I think. Four health, just hanging on. Chaos casting fast. How'd you feel about that? Oh, my heart's still pounding from that one. That was so. And that and that was ten minutes ago. I know. For me, it's crazy. We gotta, but we. I gotta ask the question that everyone I think wants the answer to. You had you had the X cow and you didn't use it. Swinging um, the sun sword. 
Yeah, I mean, with the Sun Sword being plus four and the Excal minus one, the the attack's pretty much the same on them, and the crit rate's a lot higher on the Sun Sword. Well, that, that is exactly what we figured you would uh, we would come down to the crit rate, but that was uh, that was that was a chaos for the ages. Yes, yeah. meanwhile, Haven is down to man mode after Kraken, who did find his white mage. Uh, you know he's going to find him eventually. So, Fry Teeth, you didn't go back for any magic. We, we saw you peeked in level 6 and saw everything that was there, but uh, you didn't go back. No, it takes too long. I, I, love the, I love the bold strategy. It, it did pay off for you. Leaving behind Nuke, Warp, and Temper. I, I, I love to see it. Also, diving uh, Marsh Locked. That was that was uh, that was a play. Didn't didn't see that coming. Well, at that point, you know the progression, which is, is at that point is the canoe is either in Marsh Locked or it's on the first two floors of Mirage, um, or Mirage is gonna or you know Oxiel. But to me, it's a case of if you dive Marsh Locked and it's the wrong choice, if you save pretty far away, you probably lose about ninety seconds. Mm -hmm. But if you go up to Mirage and that's the wrong choice and you've got to sail all the way back, you know, without the canoe to get back to Marsh, it's just a huge time loss. So, yes, it's a higher percentage play to go to um, Mirage, but if, you know, well, the other way is, is just too big a risk sometimes. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Tia 2 had Nuke and Slow 2 and is giving Davian a really hard time. Oh, did Tia land Slow 2 on the night? Yes, she did. Ooh, that's not gonna end well. Because remember, Slow 2 is not time elemental. The ribbon does not protect, and there's the Inferno and Davian is out. And I believe that is a forfeit from Davian, but GG's to Davian. That was... That was a very close race. There was a lot of lockstep there. You guys were a lot of the, a lot of the plays were made the same. But you know, GG's to Thavian, GG's to Fry Teeth. It was, and we're joined in the booth by Thavian. Thavian, GG's. How you feel? GG's Fry Tooth. That I G -G. caught the the fight on Chaos, and I wouldn't have made it through. You barely made it through. Yeah, I was lucky to find the floater there at the end, which got me the power gauntlet. And then I took that T-Rex grind, because with the Sun Sword, I just didn't feel good about anything. The temptation to go for items was there once I got out of Sky, but then I thought, I'm racing a very fast racer. I should probably just go grind and, and hope. Well, the big point of divergence between the two of you was the rod. One of you had it, one of you didn't. One even. So, Fry Teeth went and cleared all of Earth, got his two shards, and those two shards were the two that Thavian and you were looking for in uh, Cardia. That uh, that gave all the difference. Otherwise, you you both of you were in lockstep with each other. Yeah, once. Once I realized I was two shards short, I was like, do I go Earth or wait? No, go North, Cardia, Cardia, Cardia. And it, it they came out well, but I, I was did. severely underleveled, it seemed. What were your levels? I, I think by the time I finished my grind on the way to Kraken, I was in the mid-20s. But without the power bonk, because I didn't go to Lafayne, I didn't even touch on or Melman, so I didn't have this lab translated. Yeah, I was about 23 or 24 when I finished. Not much different. Just, I guess, gear and talent. So we'll say gear. Well, yeah. the, the, absolutely. The big, the big, the big difference was that power bonk. The ability to really amplify your swing, especially because I don't think either one of you had a fast caster. Uh, I did have fast on my black mage, but didn't get it on my 
in my ninja when I had a chance. And no life magic made this uh, a very difficult dive, because when you lost somebody, you were out. I actually looked up magic after the race and uh, seven, eight for life yep. two and life yep. one. That That's where it rolled. It rolled very, very high. Um, your quad X rolled level eight. Um, Saber rolled level seven. And do you know which level seven shop life two was at? Shop and life was too. that up in Gaia or on rack? I can tell you. I think that's on rack. But one thing I noticed neither of you did was go back and get here four, heal three on the night, or fast on the ninja. It just feel like go, 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 or I really just knowing my opponent, I felt I needed to go because the time was still ticking. It was like he's either in Topher or very close to it. Yeah, I just felt like too much time. I mean, if I'd had that cure for on on the night, that chaos fight would would have been a little a uh, little less stressful. So life was in the white shop Gaia two. Life life two was in Onrak. Yeah, I never went into either of those towns. You, nope, you faded the Onrak continent completely. You did not even go near it. Which, well, I, never fair, saw, I never saw. I never saw the Oxiel. I believe Fabian did. Uh, yeah, but Cardia. Fully, yeah. It was Cardia. I, I remember. Final dice for shards. Yep. I actually reset out of it because I got an unrunnable or er, an encounter that I just didn't care about. Uh, well, I, what did you guys think of the blursings? It was very balanced. Yeah, not not terribly interesting. We were. I was a bit surprised that nobody took a red mage. Um, I know that the the clean magic may have been useful, and the cat's claw can sometimes be very helpful. Definitely considered it, but the blursings for the white and black mages meant the vanilla party was just more balanced. Plus, if I had relied on the thief for my melee, that that katana was doing nothing. Your fiends, I will admit, uh, definitely were more tanky than I expected. Uh, they took a beating from you. From both of you, because you were both swinging the katana. And they just did not want to go down. Yeah, you, um... Do you see the Massa anywhere? Nope. We don't know where the Massa rolled. We didn't see it. Would have had to been C... Like sea, ice, waterfall, or deals, but yeah. One of those places. Yes, no one was, one was in Bubbles' room. We can all hope that that's where it was, to be honest. We all would love it to be there. Because we didn't get to see Bubbles this time. Which, hey, it, it wasn't in the cards. Yep. Did you, guys enjoy, the, did you guys enjoy the ring around the, the Warmack? Yes. What's that? Uh, we, we noticed that uh, Thavian did a little dance around the Warmech when he found him walking around in uh, in Sky. We were kind of curious if he was going to take it or we was just teasing him. I was not ready to take it. I was I was pushing it on Tia at that point. But we did notice you stop and kind of do a little dance around it. We were kind of wondering, uh, is, is he going to? He really shouldn't. I mean, you you were definitely not leveled, as you said. And you needed the Tia more than you needed the Warmech. Yeah, I thought about take, looking for the war mech because I, I definitely needed the levels, but I knew that T-Rex was sitting there right off the hard reset, so a little safer. We both found it in, in Volcano and Greater Than Less Than. Talk about providing. Shards galore. I have, I don't think I've seen a scene give that, that many shards out. No, that floor in Volcano, what was it, five or six shards and two ribbons? Two ribbons yep. and five shards. Yep, it was insane. I that you guys were, you, you had the best protection on most of your party for most of the seed. It was, it was something to see. Yeah. What about those pro rings as well, dude? The the money coming out of Marsh. I had a full set of pro rings before I even left the inner sea. It was actually really nice. I believe Fry Teeth did as well. No, I didn't. I bought almost nothing that whole seed. 
Really? Yeah, I ended up... I had four 400,000 gold at the end of the seed. Well, it's It served you well. You went with the speed and power strat, and it definitely was... Uh, definitely speed. Definitely speed. Yeah. Well, you I hit. think on Friday's Battle Against Chaos, I think he had Chaos in an RNG loop, except that it was... He was always casting a spell. So it seemed like Bright Teeth was doing consistent damage. Well, Chaos did not have a whole lot that was going to really bother him. Bane, Ice 2, Fire 2, Fast, Lit 2, Nuke, Quad X, and then Bane again. And it had no abilities. Yeah. The only trouble was the Nuke, which of course made things a little dramatic. Very much so. I have uh, That was... It was definitely edge of your seat moment right there with four health swinging a swinging a sun sword. It was if anything but fast had come out at that time, and if turn order had gone hit chaos's way, this might have been a bit of a longer run. It, or RNG been just a bit different. Just a bit. That's three more than he needed. It is so. Looking at the. Coming brackets. So, for Fry Teeth, you're going to take on Herbie B next. How do you feel about that? He's been watching this race. He's been taking notes. I mean, he's you know he's seated above me. He's he's playing well, so it'll be a tough one. He's definitely not a runner. To, he's definitely a runner to take seriously. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Ebian, believe he plays. I Fred Coughlin. Fred Coughlin is next up for you. How do you feel about that? About as hard, much as I would feel against any of these competitors, because this is this is a real challenge. I, I'm looking forward to it. I agree. This is this tournament has been a really good tournament. A lot of really good matches. A lot of really good runners. A lot of really close races. It's been very entertaining. Yeah, if well, anyone was if anyone was wondering, Massa was in ordeals. No, <laughs> no so one, we never have saw it. No, no, no one's going to ordeals. No, no one's going to ordeals. Yeah, Let's be fair. Not unless it's like last location, you still don't have that loot. Which wasn't Wait. the case this seed. No, you didn't get away. Well, I say we get to some final thoughts. Uh our winner on tonight of this match, Fry Teeth. Any final thoughts? Oh, no, just GG's, and, you know, thanks for the comms and restream and tracking tonight, and see you about the next one. And we look forward to it. Thavian, final thoughts. GG's, fried teeth, uh, good luck in the upper brackets against Herbie. Uh, thank you, Speed Gaming. Obviously, thank you, Iker, for tracking. Oslado, Classic Gamer, for the uh, comms. Must have been very entertaining. Gonna definitely watch this back, because it sounds like it was really tight. Oh, you will enjoy watching it back. It was a very tight one. Classic Gamer 76, my co-comms. What are your final thoughts? Well, thank you to Oslado for coming with me. Shouts to Iker for tracking and keeping us honest. Thank you to Bright Teeth and Thavian Hawk for putting up a great race. You're putting us on the edge of our seats. Of course, thank you to Speed Gaming for hosting us, and thank you to Chat for being there. We, we wouldn't be doing this without you wonderful people in chat. And Oslodo, take us away. Thank you, Classic Gamer. To all the fans out there, if you like what you see and you want to get involved, FinalFantasyRandomizer.com. There you'll find a link to the randomizer, to the wiki, with all sorts of great information, and for our favorite Discord channels. Great news, the Duckling Derby and the Duckling Boot Camp is coming up after the Winter Tournament for all of you new players. It is a great program. Several graduates of the program have already run in this race. It will give you everything you need. Come on down, join the Discord. Great people, great fun. Once again, I want to thank our runners, Fried Teeth, Davian Hawk, thank Iker, our tracker, keeping us honest. Doing, doing the best work. Classic Gamer, my co-coms. Thank you, Speed Gaming, for hosting us. I am Oslodo, and we will see you in the next race.